Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge by Gremlin Graphics, released in 1990. And as you saw the title screen there, it was Blink and You'll Miss It. I think it was released on all the usual fare, Commodore, Amstrad, Spectrum, Atari ST, uh, Amiga. I've never really played it as such. I think I had a dabble back in the day and it wasn't for me. But I think, I'm not so sure on the Spectrum, it's regarded as quite a good racer. Right, difficulty level. Uh, easy number of players one music one to eight k computers only. I'm having trouble getting one to eight k tape files to work on my Vega for some reason. Some work, some don't. Because this is actually one to eight k one apparently. Uh, fire. Oh, here you go. Automatic gears. Uh, automatic accelerate. Yeah, you, you can actually have automatic acceleration. Now we're going to go with. There we go. Manual acceleration. Uh, and let's get into it. Game information player one, blah, 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 player two. Oh, that's what I, I just worked it out now. Uh, so that's why. Oh, see, I'm recording this intro before the actual gameplay because um, I had to change the image and the angle size on the camera. But that's why this screen's so fucking cropped. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Still makes it unplayable though. Right, Italy. Finish eighth or better to qualify for next race. Now, I assure you, right. I've not cropped the screen. I've uh, I've actually, you know, zoomed the camera in quite a bit because for some reason, I don't know. I mean, it was regarded as a really, really good racer back in the day. Up is accelerate, which means turning at the same time is always a bit awkward. Uh, as I said, uh, you saw I've got the gears on manual, or acceleration on manual, that is, right? Fire, second gear, shit. But yeah, so that's a very nice picture of Lotus Esprit at the bottom of the screen. Um, you know, it's quite glorious, in fact, since it is a really, really beautiful car. But I cannot but feel that it's kind of productive. I mean, the road is no Chase HQ, but the road does dip reasonably well, uh, you know, and it is reasonable graphics. As I said, it's not Chase HQ by any stretch of imagination. But like then, when I got air, you can't see fuck all. Who, I mean, is this, I think this is probably the same across all versions, but who thought this was a fucking good idea? I really don't know, especially for such a late release Spectrum game. You know, at this point in 1990, the machine was capable of fucking magic. <clears throat> and I'm doing absolutely terrible. I can qualify for it, but as I said, you know, it's on all the usual suspects. I think it's regarded on the Amiga at least. Uh, it's one of the, the best racing games on the platform. And there may be a sequel to it. There might even be a sequel on the Spectrum. I don't know. Uh, I bloody well hope not, based on this. Um, or it's the 48K, so it's got really, really limited rubbish sound. Again, 48K could do better sound than this. It's a great indication of speed, but... I mean, a lack of roadside objects could be because it's such a tiny little fucking, I don't know, screen. It's like, I don't know, it's like you're driving your real car around, you know, um, in Silverstone as fast as you fucking can, but then just make it ever so slightly harder, well, past one bloody car, oh, you start, you decide to start fucking squinting. See, like then. I like the lotus signs at the side of the road. They look like fucking archery boards. Right. But as I said before, this is my, my favourite lotus of all time. Right, gears 5, RPM, can I change, see like then, I had no idea I wasn't on the road. I wonder what it's like if you just have automatic acceleration, it can't be any fucking worse than this. Like I said, because I'm pressing up all the time, it makes my steering a bit funky. Oh, actually, I don't have to press up all the time. Oh, who knew? Oh, no, I'm gunning it. Brake. Ah, my mistake. Possibly let the game off something there. Oh, brake, brake. It is weird, I keep expecting to do like a spin out or, you know, an explosion like kind of like a Sega racing game. <clears throat> right. So either I'm going fast, or my car or Spectrum are about to fucking blow up. Right, I think it's safe. This laps three or four, I think it's safe to say I balls this up. Well, I've done a round in it. Um, <clears throat> now I've kind of worked out the manual option of um, accelerating, which is just press up and then, right. Is that a different gear? No, I'm looking at the bottom of the screen. Bottom of the screen. The second fucking half of the screen, and I can't work out if I change gear or something. Uh, 
I don't know what he's doing. Am I dead? I bloody well hope so. If someone put a bullet in me and put me out of my misery. No. You're making me finish the race, aren't you? There we go. Obviously it wasn't accelerating properly then because it was on the corner. See, like that now, what the fuck? Did the rope just go or did I just have a seizure? Ding, 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 ding. Looks like fucking whatever that f stupid frog was. And again, because it's so small, it doesn't matter that you stuck arrows on the side of the road. They may as well be fucking... Anything but arrows. That got away from me. Much like the rest of the cars in this game. Oh, come on. And the road's not wide enough. Again, because it's such a small bloody window. Right. <clears throat> Can't see what's directly in front of me. What are you thinking, Gremlin Graphics? You make such bloody classics. This is Jack Manip from Jack Manip 2. And the Monty games. Can we just end this? Please, just end this. Final lap. Ooh. Like I said, there's both some backward must be break. There must be nothing else that does break. You just. I oh, sound like a broken record. No, not me. It's a broken fucking game. Right. Press up. Two, one. Ah, no, I do have to press it up to get top speed, but then it stays there until I hit something. Uh, which, again, I can't see anyone thing to fucking hit. Oh no, it's got gears! Ah, I get it! I think... I think I'm gonna have a seizure. So you keep pressing forward and it goes up for the gears, does it? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along. Like, now it looks like the road's going backwards. something else. Uh, but like I said, you know, I don't always want to play amazing games. I want to show the full, you know, oh, I can see wonder of the specky, but this is clearly not a wonder. This is a turd. I know, I'm sure there's people around that have wonderful memories of it. <clears throat> Come on, just one bloody car. Just one car. Any cars? No cars. There's a car. There's two cars. There's no room to pass. I'm just playing dodgems in very expensive cars. 14, 13, 12. <clears throat> and then you just brush the side of the road and it's all back to tits town. Like then, I don't do that. <laughs> Notice that they don't have any of this problem. They're all seeing. They're fucking robots. No, you don't. No, you don't. Come back. Come back. No, no, no you don't. Ugh. The 14th. And then they're gone. So right then, I don't. Where do I go? To avoid them. No. Fuck off. He just drove through the fucking signs. He's ghost car. I got fucking carpal tunnel syndrome right now. It'd be a victory if I finish 14th, and that's sad. Uh, and it's not going to happen. Unless there are only 14, I've lost Kang. See, it was a moderately good dip. Oh, fuck nuggets. Do you know what? I'm going to call it quits there. Gremlin Graphics, I used to think you were fucking amazing, but what the fuck were you thinking with this? I mean, seriously, if it wasn't just half a bloody screen, if it wasn't like trying to race a car with Cyclops' fucking visor, it, it stood a chance. My voice cracked then. But yeah. Though this turbo challenge on the ZX Spectrum, horseshit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.